Thank you, Sajjan Ramsa. I don't know what to say. Good evening, Toastmasters. Good evening. Good evening. I declare meeting number 617. Can I request the secretary to read out the last minutes of the meeting? Good evening, uh, Toastmasters. Last meeting, meeting number 616, start time was uh, 7 3 pm. And the uh, theme of the day was do what you feel like, for you will be criticized anyway by Roosevelt. Word of the day was exotic, unusual, colorful, fascinating, and glamorous. Sajitam's uh, frame, uh, President Devakar, MC Srinivas Raju, table topic master myself, uh, general evaluator Anand Bhairat, our counter Srinivas, Ramarian Prashant, Timer Balachandar, Vijayan Mr. Renal. And uh, there were three speeches, uh, two speeches and one education session. Speaker one, Supplege, CC project number six. Title was Faith. Speaker uh, evaluated by Mr. Vinkat Raman. Speaker two, Ganesh Ayer, CC project number nine. Title was Competition to Population. Evaluated by Ramesh. Competition and cooperation. 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 So, cooperation is there. <laughs> 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 I had written it down wrongly. And the education session was uh, title was Hair and the Talkers. Best speaker, uh, Sakhlaj. Table topic, best table topic speaker, Anand Best evaluator, Mr. Ramesh. Best listener, Zahir. Okay. Thank you. I read this book called Art of Public Speaking by Dale Funding, in which he has explained few of the effective ways through which you can make a permanent stop to few of the glitches that will mar your performance as a speaker. A few days back, right after reading that, I got a tripod for my video camera and I've been practicing that. No, I've been getting the results. Now, here also, we are practicing one such way is that you know, to record your videos while you are practicing your speech and again watching that. And here in our club every week we do also have a practice of recording our videos. For your, you know, for your information, Sunshine Toastmaster Club is the only club as far as my knowledge is concerned is the one which is doing this activity of recording the videos in the entire district. We know that the purpose of this activity is to help the members, the members who miss the meeting for the benefit of them. And more than that, it is you who will benefit at large. Sometimes we have seen how things go wrong in, in such a way that when, when you are on the stage, you don't know how you make some moments, some unusual gestures. So we've been practicing this habit of recording the videos and posting it onto the YouTube. Now how many of you are really concerned about these videos? If not everyone's, but at least if not everyone's, at least yours. <laughs> now how many of you are really watching these videos? Now, members, I need a genuine answer here. Because I've been closely monitoring the statistics and demographics of each and every video, every week. We have one person here who has been dedicating his valuable time in recording, uploading, editing, sending it across all the members. And it is so pathetic to see that sometimes some videos are not seen even for a single time. Zero views. Not even a single view. There are some good comments which we have received on the club channel from click people across the globe. And one such is by a lady from Canada. She says that Sunshine Toastmaster videos are treasure for the budding Toastmasters, but not for many Toastmasters here. And a few minutes back, when I met Toastmaster Executive Director Daniel Rex from Bangor, I got a replay for my question on implementing the innovation in the club. They said, 
I called the members' videos and asked them to watch the videos. I said, they are already doing that. But what is the end result here? Members, it just has video or something. Now, ultimately, Toastmasters, it is all of us, we have to take some serious actions. We want to do many things. And we need your support to do many things. One suggestion here, if you don't mind. See, this is static. Um, there should be a cameraman behind, and as you move, it should record. I know when I was speaking last time, and I stepped out, it was just recording, you know, one point, the place where I was not there. I was over here. You don't need him. That takes away from the viewing quality. You see, the, the lecture is there, but the speaker is not there. And the speaker moves around and goes sometimes out of the frame. So it won't be a bad idea if somebody sits behind and makes sure that he follows the speaker. Sometimes the lighting is also not good. So it makes it hard to see. Thank you, thank you. We will take the feedback and uh, the on that. As a committee, we will go to take it. Thank you. And coming back to today's special, the speech contest, whenever I think of competition, a question which pops up in my mind is that why should we have to take part in the contest? Well, just like fear of speaking, there is one more term called fear of competing. Every time when you come here and speak, you will literally accelerate yourself as a growth as a speaker. But whereas when you take part in the competitions, you will increase double times the growth as a speaker. Friends, always remember, when it comes to competition, even the defeat, you will discover the victory. And remember, as long as we are thinking anyways. Think big. To proceed with today's meeting, we have a person who is today who has taken up the role of master of ceremony. And this was master who works for a Nagarjuna Education Society, which is a sister company of Nagarjuna Groups. And I've seen him his growth over a few years. A good friend of mine. And the kind of respect he has got professionally as well as personally in his company. A few times when I visited his company, I know how uh, reputation he has got in his company. So it's really, uh, we are so lucky to have this person as a uh, club member in our club. So put your hands together to welcome the Master of Ceremony for today, Mr. Srinivasan.